Hi everybody, welcome to Deb's Way, and I'm Deb. And we're here for another week of hashtag Tea Tuesday. I've got a few things here to talk to you about, lined up here on the side. But first of all, let me tell you about my little teapot here. Well, I guess there's a picture on that side too. I'll hold it here and see if you can see what that is. It's just a, a pretty little scene. It kind of looks like a, a floral gate of some sort. This teapot was purchased, oh my goodness, probably 20 years ago or so, maybe even more than that. This side shows you it's from Burley, England, and it's a little village scene with a thatched roof house, which is something very typical of the houses you find in the Burley area. And that's in the New Forest area of England. Yes, I visited there several years ago with friends of mine. And they were British friends of mine. They live in Bournemouth. And we went on a tour of Burley, a very quaint little village in the New Forest. Lots of that thatched houses, you know, thatched roof houses in the area. And they had some very quaint little stores downtown. Actually, I should say little shops. Okay. Um, also downtown, well, there was a pub. We, you know, you'd go for a pub lunch. And out in the village streets themselves, the New Forest ponies or horses would roam the streets. For the most part, they were kind of friendly. They were tame enough, you know, the ones that roamed the streets anyway. But you weren't supposed to really feed them either. But of course, you know, you wanted to pet them and you know, take pictures with them and all that kind of stuff. I don't remember ever doing that myself, but I saw a lot of other people around doing that. But anyway, Burley is a very quaint uh, village in the New Forest, and it's, it's well worth visiting. So this is what I'm using for my teapot today. And the tea that I have is just a, a Lusienne decaffeinated tea here, okay? Now my mug holds just about the whole pot. <laughs> I picked a very big mug to have tea in. And this is one that I got at a, um, a quilt store that I used to go and sit and sew with other ladies. And the store had this, this kind of mug available. I thought it was really kind of cute. I had to get it. Big old sewing machine on it. And it is an antique sewing machine in the picture. And I just thought it was classic. So that's my mug for today. Now, as for other things that I've been doing this week, or like last week, we just had a bunch of doctor appointments, routine doctor appointments that we went to, a dentist appointment for me, which I really do not like dentist appointments, but it's necessary. So got that taken care of. And then today, William had an eye doctor appointment and he went to check on the possibility of a cataract. Well, he went for a cataract evaluation for surgery. So now the VA told him that yes, he had 60% cataracts and they've been, they've been growing or what do they call ripening <laughs> for a few years now. And the doctor, the last time he went in for an eye check a few weeks ago, the doctor very seriously talked to him about having cataract surgery. So he was checking around and he decided to go to the eye doctor that I went to a few years ago when I had scar tissue built up from previous eye surgery and it had to be removed. He liked the, the eye institute that I went to to have that work done. So we made an appointment there. He has an appointment at the VA already, but he wanted to check out this other clinic as well. And we went there this morning. And we found out that because of some difficulties William has with his neck vertebrae and spine vertebrae. He has like a fused spine and fused neck, okay? He's not able to bend or move his neck at all. It's like, you know, frozen. So because of that and the equipment that they used at this eye institute, which is very high tech, they were not able to help him. So they deferred back to the VA. 
and that's where we're going to go. I believe, I'll have to double check, but I think his appointment with the VA um, evaluation team is beginning of September. I'll have to double check on that. I, I wish we could get him in sooner because he's primed and ready to go, you know. And it's like with any surgery, you know, you're a little bit leery of it. You're, you just, you worry about it. I mean, they're, they're messing with your eyes, you know. But he's... He's pumped for it. He knows that he's reached a point now where he needs to have it done and he's going to go for it. So the sooner it gets taken care of, the better. But we'll find out more on that one. But that's where we were today. And, or I should say this morning, earlier this morning. That's why we were up bright and early and out. <laughs> and I'm tired. William is laying down already. So... It's going to be a long day because we do have plans for dinner with my brother and sister-in-law later on. So it's, it's, he's getting rest for that. But in the meantime, I wanted to tell you about something that I got from my brother, as a matter of fact. Now, I have talked to him before. We've talked to him before about storing up you know, on food supplies, paper supplies, everything like that. Ever since the pandemic, we talked to him about that, and he knew that we were doing it as well. The last time we saw my brother, he had gotten in a shipment from Patriot, okay? This is a 72-hour um, survival food kit for one person, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, he had already opened this, and he got a whole big container full of foods and then they sent I believe it was two of these bags which he'd opened up one of them and had them in the display of foods that he had already received he was just sorting through seeing what they got and they've got quite a variety of foods and they did not sound bad at all so I told him well you have one I can try and he gave me a, a supply he filled this bag that he'd emptied out already filled with things that I chose to try <laughs> America's finest macaroni and cheese We'll see what that's like. Dinner Bell Broccoli Bake. Okay. And then he got several of these, which I know is important. It's Grammy's Sweet Oatmeal. Okay. And I haven't read up on this line of food. I have heard about it from other people. I'm assuming, are they, is it dehydrated? It just says it's nutritious, easy to prepare, survival food that could save your life in a disaster. Okay. Well, but anyway, it is a very popular food to have on hand in your pantry, just in case, you know, in case of emergency situations or to take with you. So we're gonna give it a try. I'm not gonna tell William when I'm gonna use it. He's, you know, he's not too keen on this kind of stuff ever since military meals, I guess, but we're going to try it. <laughs> and who knows? He does like macaroni and cheese. I wonder if he could tell the difference between this and Kraft. We'll see. Anyway, that was from Patriot. And my brother was telling me all sorts of kits that um, you could order. And you got a price break if you ordered a certain quantity. So if, I, if we were interested in ordering a couple of them, he was interested in getting more and he'd order extra for us and then get an even higher price break, something like that. So we'll see, okay? But this sort of thing I think is very important these days especially with the changes in our meat market, the grocery prices going skyrocket, you know, other prices rising and the job market and the housing market, you just don't know what it's coming to. And I think we are going to see some really bad times coming up around the holidays, especially. So this is another good way to prepare, you know, get yourself some food in. You never know. Other foods that I have ordered in the past and I have on the pantry, it's actually my sub pantry. Um, I've never open these canisters. Oh, and this food too is, it, it, if you don't open the bags at all, I think there's something like good for 20 years, is what my brother said. I know they're good for many, many years. Okay. This next food that I'm going to tell you about is about the same. Not quite 20 years, I don't believe, but still, they're many, many years. Thrive Life. This is um, freeze-dried food. 
and it tells you when they're manufactured on all the cans. Now, if they're not opened, they're good for many years, okay? It gives you the manufacturing date. I would need to check back. I am not selling this stuff. I'm not really up on it. These cans I got in 2019, okay? And I know they're good for several years. Once you open it up though, it's, it's like maybe a couple years shelf life. That's fine once you open it up, you know? But until then, I have chopped onions, okay? And these are, this is a 3.95 ounce can, chopped onions. I have, okay, this is a 6.1 ounce which, okay, it's the same size can, but the product inside. This is a 6.1 ounce of mashed potatoes. William loves mashed potatoes. And I cook with a lot of onions, so hey. And this is a 1.69 ounce can of dried green beans. Freeze dried, actually. And this is a 5.7 ounce can of freeze-dried corn on a cob, or corn, you know, loose corn. But this is all through Thrive Live, and I bought this all on sale, so it wasn't really too terribly expensive, and I've just put it back on my shelf, okay? And like I say, I, I'm not a dealer or a distributor of either Thrive Live or this Patriots food that I talked about, but I think it's very important to have something like this on your food pantry shelves as well, because of the shelf life. They just last, for many, many years, okay? And I just, who knows what's gonna happen. So be prepared. Also, you know, when you go shopping, when you go to the grocery store and you see canned goods, and canned goods are on sale a lot, you know, like uh, 10 for $10 type of thing. You know, pick up an extra 10 if you've got the money. If not, pick up a couple extra cans, at least one extra can of that food that's on sale. Put that aside, put that on your shelves. Keep stocked up like that as much as you can. You know, I know money's tight for a lot of people, but you just gotta do the best that you can do so that you will have food and supplies in the future, you know, just in case. Okay. Also, regarding this Tea Tuesday, I want, just wanted to talk about, I, I guess I always kind of fail to say, who started this whole thing anyway? And from what I understand, Hey Aim started this T2, hashtag Tea Tuesday. So thank you, Amy. It was a very good idea. You know, go over and check her channel out, but also check out a couple other channels I'm going to mention to you. And that is Kathy's Favorite Things. Now I am a new member of both of Amy and Kathy's channels. And I was led to them through this Tea Tuesday business through a channel that I have been a member of for a while, and that is Life with Patty. I will leave the links for all of these channels down below. Check them out. On the hashtag Tea Tuesday, there is a listing of everybody else that's involved in this challenge. It's not a challenge, this collaboration. It's a bunch of nice people, you know. You just might make some new friends. You never know. I sure did. And I've enjoyed doing this. It's like sitting down and having a little chit chat about what's going on in your life and hey, talking about this kind of stuff, like a little commercial, I guess. Yeah, hey, Thrive Life and Patriots, I'm available for commercials anytime. Paid commercials, but you know, nothing on my channel is sponsored or paid for except by me. <laughs> so, Anyway, yes, I have a little list here to follow because I always get off track. I start talking and I lose my, I go here and I go there and then I forget to say things. And one of them has been, who started this whole hashtag Tea Tuesday? Well, now you know. Hey, AIM. And then I went to Kathy's Favorite Things and I found out through Life with Patty. So, okay. Next thing on my list to talk about, because it looks like I've covered just about everything, is my youngest nephew's birthday. Happy birthday, Jeffrey. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I know he said he had plans. He was going to go out to one of the, I don't know, theme parks or something like that and, you know, just have a great time with his friends, taking the day off work, 
but that's okay because he works for his parents, you know. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you're having a good time. It's just hard for your old Aunt Debbie to believe that you are 29 years old. And I remember, of course, before you were born, you were present at my first wedding, my first marriage to Tim. My sister-in-law, Karen, was my maid of, matron of honor. Yeah. And she was, well, what was it? Maybe like seven months pregnant. <laughs> yeah, she was. <laughs> but that's fine. I wanted her in the wedding, okay? So, yeah, 29 years ago. Boy, what it might be like to be 29 again. I vaguely remember that year. <laughs> But that was, oh lordy, <laughs> several years ago for me. I, anyway, Rick's back memories though, you know what, over the years. I, there, there's so much to talk about in between the age 29 and 70. Yeah, but we won't talk about that right now. We may never talk about it actually. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, that's about it for Tea Tuesday here. Um, I'm going to end this tape here for right now. And then later on, I think we're going to go out for an early dinner. And I might take you along then too. But if I don't, I hope you're all having a great day out there. You take care. And I'll be talking to you again real soon, either later on this evening or just later on. Okay? <laughs> But for right now, it's going to be bye. What's up, sweetie pie? We're here at Perkins. <laughs> That's what's up. We're here with uh, my brother and sister-in-law. Well, my brother's here right now. Yeah, but... He's fresh out of the joint. <laughs> Wow. Oh my gosh. Don't okay. Anyway, we decided to take advantage of Perkins's uh, oh, yeah. BOGO, their, you know, buy one, get one meal. Can't, can't beat it. So, hey, we're having dinner here tonight with the family. The salmon is outstanding. So, what did you say is good here, Mike? Salmon. Yeah. Salmon is very good. Okay. Well, a lot of the menu is good, but. Uh, for yeah. the price, eleven ninety nine, I think Sam, Sam is the best deal. Well, now. for the BOGO price, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Get one. yeah definitely. Definitely. And Karen. And I own no stock in Perkins by saying that either. I owned, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Karen is uh, AOL. No, not no, AOL. What do the they same. call it? Is it AOL? AOL. 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 What you laughing at? <laughs> She might be on AOL. Or She's A W O L. Do we still have AOL? Is it, okay. Is it still a thing? Yes, yes. Is we, there is still such a thing. No way with that. We did rotary phones. William, how's dinner? Wait, can't see your thumb. Couldn't see your thumb. Okay. <laughs> He's having a cheeseburger yeah. and fries. Yep. And I'm for, for eating a little bit of mine, but I've got the Russian hibachi grilled shrimp dish. Very good. Very good. Well, Russia. Okay, and my brother has <laughs> salmon, and broccoli, and a baked potato. Uh-huh. It does look good. Oh, yeah. And my sister-in-law, who is here finally, yes. <laughs> has her salmon, and it almost, it almost looks like you got double broccoli. Maybe, yeah. I got no. more broccoli than you did. Maybe I just... But they both had salads yeah. too to begin with. But that's Very dinner for dinner. tonight. Did you get pie figured out? No pie. You get no pie. No pie for <laughs> no you pie today. No pie for you. No pie for you. No. Did you but, want pie? But I, I like no pie. pie. You get no pie. Don't even, it doesn't even matter what kind it is. I like pie. You ate a whole strawberry rhubarb pie. Somebody, please, send yeah. me pie. No, oh, no, no. <laughs>